everyone, it's Rachel from Sibley Scrappers, and today we are going to be making a bingo card as part of our Disney Vacation series. Um, this is the bingo card we're going to be making. We're going to use the Pit Stop Paper by Cosmo Cricut in their Joy Red line. Um, this paper right here, that, and as you can see, I've punched it up and everything. I used a um, Creative Memories 3 quarter inch punch for um, the little circles here, and then I'll tell you as we go along how big the rest of the circles are. Okay, so um, as you can see, I've punched them all out and just put them in this little tray. Um, we're gonna work with these four first and four of the gray circles. Okay, and then we're just going to place these out like so, and we're gonna have Okay, so this is the back side of the pit stop paper, this orange pattern, and then this one, the black pattern, is the side of the round, is the back side of the roundabout. And this is just a little tiny bit different than this one. I used the front side of the roundabout for that, but I just thought the pattern was too big. So we're just gonna glue these down. We're gonna use um, Sig Chewy glue pen. It's all glued together. Um, okay, we're just gonna glue it on our gray piece, center it, and then take this one. And this is the roundabout one, and the last one is the pit stop. You could just use cardstock for um, this instead of pattern paper, but I just wanted to add an extra little splash of pattern. Okay, so we are going to put these on here. And I'm going to be uh, using the Green at Heart, um, the Green at Heart Micro Mono Stickers by Basic Gray. These go with their Green at Heart line. Um, <laughs> And they're just this really nice purple color, and I thought the purple is almost the exact same as the purple in some of the little icons we're using. So I just thought it would go perfectly with that, and we're going to be putting Wish on here. So we're going to use a big W, or cap, capital W. I'm just going to decide which ones I want where. Okay, so I'm just going to put this one right here, and then I think I might actually change that to a big one. I'm going to use my tweezers to put these on because they're so tiny. And I'm just using the lowercase for the rest of them. And I might switch to a lowercase for the W, I'm not sure. And on the other one, I did um, the letters with some just black random font, but I like this better, so I did that. And um, here I did these kind of off, but I changed that around. And this line, even if you maybe don't travel a lot, it's really great because the back sides, the B sides, are um, really nice patterns, whether you're using them for traveling or not. Okay. And I'm just going to put those off to the side. Actually, no, we're going to use those now. And I'm going to take my base. We're just going to decide where we want to place these. Um, I'm going to compare it to this one, just because I really like how these ones are placed. But basically, I just have to put them down, and then I'll get just where I want to put them. And this is just some recollection of craft card stuff that you can get from Michaels. Um... That's what I'm using for my base, and it's five, four, and five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we're just going to 
place these down. Um, the large circles are one or the large ones are one and a half. Are we using that one? No, the large one right here, the gray and the background of this one is uh, an inch and a quarter. And the this one, the kind of pattern is uh, an inch, okay? Cut these out in your Cricut in the Georgian Basic Shapes cartridge, or if you have the Sure Cuts a lot software. But um, I'm just using this punch. Um, we're gonna glue down our our um, letters just so that gives us our guideline and everything. You can use Tombow Mono Adhesive as well. Okay, and then we are just going to label our gray circles. Um, the words I got are from online, but um, I'm just going to read them out to you as I write them down. First one is baby. I'm using a close to cocoa Stampin' Write marker. Um, this color is not available anymore, but there's tons of browns still, obviously, but... And the next one is bridge. Okay. You can draw grid lines on here. Um, that's why I did the ribbon the first time, but. Um, And I think I'm going to read them off again just as I go along so that if I missed any, um, bridge, I've done baby movie farm field mountain book so far. Um, the next one I'm doing now is skyline. You could do theme in each row and then do like on here. Okay, so I just have these little icons which are from the Pit Stop paper in the Dry Red Collection by Cosmo Cricut, right here. And I just punched them out with a three quarter inch punch and we're just going to put them in between there to just add a little pizzazz onto it. Okay. I'm just going to glue them right down here with a zig to be glue pen. And I, I did three different colors. Um, not all of the icons are the same. I tried to do that, but then I just ended up with, um, like the cars the same, but, um, they're in different colors, but I did different, um, colors in each row. So I did like a blue and then a yellow and then a purple. So it wouldn't be really the same at all. Okay. And, um, there's that. And as you can see, it has barely any dimension so it's really good to laminate um i hope you guys liked this episode of simply scrappers and um i hope you'll come back see you next time thanks for watching